All right, welcome back to Starbound. Now, I've decided, screw it. I'm going to attempt the thing. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Now, let me just quickly get this these iron bars back into my inventory. And I made a storage crate down here ages ago to collect the things required to craft this thing. And I put them in there as I got as they became available so that I wouldn't accidentally spend them. And now I have the things. Uh, it's at the workbench, I believe. Where is it? Distress beacon. Oh, I need more pixels! Well, you know what? That's perfect timing because that means I can go and explore the caves and kill some things to get pixels. Because that's what you do when you want pixels. You kill things. Or explore caves because they're a little pixel containers. But at any rate... Let me just get down here a bit further, 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 further. Oh, Timber Tang, I need pixels. I just died. <sighs> well, luckily I didn't have many, so I won't have lost many. Because that's how it works, you know. Alright, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Gimme me doing. Get me down there. I promise I'm not trying to be Scottish. I am not Scottish. Alright, I don't need to sleep. I've just died, so I've got full health. <laughs> it's a strange thing to say. The falling does tend to be a bit strange. I, I think that's just me holding the button down too long. Yeah, I think it very well could be. Yeah, I've got to hold it down such a short period of time. Alright, I'm in my cave. Now, I may I've got platforms everywhere, because I made like 600 of the things. Because I wanted to make sure I'd, I'd be, I would be able to get out fairly easily. Ah, there's a pixel container up there. Might as well dig through to it. Oh, I love how fast this golden pickaxe is. It's ridiculously fast. In a good way. In a good way. In fact, I don't need to dig through to that. I can just smash it. Good. And I killed the fish. Poor fish. Now, there's a little kind of... It might be an exploit I found in this area. Now, there's a monster there. I can all, I can just go down here. Kill the monsters that spawn down here. I've never seen those monsters before, mind. Kill the monsters that spawn there. Then come open it up and kill the monsters that spawn here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kill the ones that spawn there. Kill all of these. Yeah. Then come... No, no, no. Then come up here and kill the monsters that miraculously spawn round here. And basically repeat. So I've, big, I've kind of got a bit of an experience... Pixel farm here. <laughs> an accidental one, but a pixel farm nonetheless. You can see we've got 239 pixels already. It's a very nice way to make pixels. Pixels. So, there's a bit of advice technically. If you want to make pixels, then get a nice big loop in caves like that, where you can go round in a circle, and monsters will continuously spawn where you've been, and where you and where you're going to. So you'll never be short of things to kill. But the will you will obviously never be short of things to kill you. That's also a downside. But. That's the price you've got to pay. If you want to get things the, that you get from killing things, you've got to kill things. I actually think I've got enough pixels already now. I've not seen these monsters before. They're really nice looking. Alright, I think that should be enough pixels. I'm going to get 400 just to be sure though. I got 120 pixels from that thing. Are you kidding me? Whoa! No, that, that's, that can't be right. That must have been a total from a little while. Alright, see how many you get from that? Yeah, 25, that makes more sense. And boom! In fact, I'll show you this fire sword. Because it's quite neat. It doesn't do much direct damage, but it sets things on fire. And the reason I've got it is for the thing that might be coming up, if you know what I mean. Not to say there's a boss coming up or anything like that. There might not be a boss. There might not be a boss. No promises. Oh, don't die here to that ridiculous thing. 
Oh, come on, it's weak as bums. Oh, jeez. I'm not on very good form today. It's probably because I've got to go to bed soon. I'm rather tired. And yet there's the temptation to stay up all night for Starbound. <laughs> this game is worse than Terraria and Minecraft for that. This game is far worse than both of those for that. The one more turn factor, as, it, as it's called in, in the Civ world, I believe. Alright, I think that should be enough pixels now, so let me just climb out of here rather quickly and get rid of that, because that's bugging me. I put that there to bridge across there, but I don't need it anymore, so I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, man, get me up here, and then I can make the distress beacon. And then I can summon something. Now, I'm trying not to ruin it, because just in case you don't know what it is, I happen to know what it is, which is a bit of a shame. It would have been nice if I didn't, but then... If I didn't know what it was, I might have made it at any old point, and that would be a bad thing. But then it does say, Your ship's engine isn't yet strong enough to take you beyond the Alpha Sector. Craft a distress beacon, and maybe you'll be able to make contact with a larger ship. <laughs> a larger ship. Make sure you're ready for anything before you do, though. And it's spot on about being ready for anything. Because... A bad thing happens when you summon it. I don't know if it comes when you craft it or if it... Oh man, there it is. A distress beacon. Who knows who might hear it? Oh man. Yeah, I've got a pretty good feeling I know who will hear it. And they're not friendly, let's just say that. Kill you. I might as well just gather some pixels while I'm out here. Because I don't want to do this at night. That would be ridiculous, and it just spurted blood on me. At least I hope that was from its mouth. Ew. Ah, I've not seen these nighttime monsters for a while because I've been exploring other planets. Oh, you know what for this? Bow time. Oh, dear, that thing didn't die. God. Holy crap. Those things are surprisingly tough. In fact, it tends to be the peaceful monsters that are the toughest to kill, I find. That have the most HP, at any rate. Which is a bit strange. Now, let me get back to my ship, just to show you something. The quest log here says, Your ship's engine isn't yet strong enough to take you beyond the Alpha Sector. Now, you might wonder, what is the Alpha Sector? Well, your right mouse to go up a level, because this is as far in as you can go to planet left click we're at the solar system level right click again that was right click sorry and now this is the alpha sector each one of those things is a star and it goes a very 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 long way in every direction i don't even know if there's a limit See, I'm just keep on going, and that's only in this one direction. And each one of those little stars could have any number of planets. And each one of those planets could have any number of things. That, like, that's got a bit of a moon surrounding it, although it's, although it's not technically a moon, I don't think. This planet here, can't land on that, presumably a gas giant. Arid, threat level 8, that's bad. The threat level determines the... tells you the difficulty of the planet, of course. But yeah, this is all the Alpha Sector. <laughs> this is all the Alpha Sector. Jeez. And I would presume the next one would be the Beta Sector that we can go to once our engines are more powerful. But let's get back down to the planet. It'll be day, hopefully. So I didn't want it to be day. Well, I did, but... Oh. oh, screw it. Let's just craft the thing. Let's just craft it. I don't know if it gets destroyed or what. Distress Beacon. Nicely done. I suggest you gear up before placing it. Who knows who will receive your signal? It does try to... It, do, it really does try to warn you that it could be a very, very bad thing to use. If you're not geared up correctly. And I don't know if I'm... I am geared up correctly, but I want to see. I want to see, so... Screw it. Alright, I want to craft this plant fibre into... In fact, can I... No, the patch is not yet. I'll make as much fabric as I can. 
Only 17 fabric, that's not much, because I want to make more bandages. And this will get us nine bandages. That, that's not bad. We've got 34. That's not too shabby. All right. Now. Let's find a nice flat piece of land to use this thing on. Because I don't want to do it in a in a, an overly hilly terrain. Because that could spell my death. Is this big enough? I don't think that's big enough. That's what she said. Go right a bit more, I think. So am I right in thinking that time passes more quickly on your ship? That shouldn't be the case, but I suppose it very well could be. I'm just going to kill that thing and kill these things, plural, because I see two. Yep. Alright, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, that's a good idea. Skybridge! Skybridge, like in Terraria. It's like I'm playing Terraria. Except I'm not playing Terraria, I'm playing a far better game than Terraria. Ah, this is a good idea. Yes. I can't believe I hadn't thought of this before. It feels kind of cheap, to be honest, but... Holy crap, this is long. See, what I like about this game is you can just walk and hold, and it will build. You don't have to, you know, like, keep clicking and stopping because the... Lock placing is dumb as hell. But it makes sense. It's good. It's a good game. It's a very good game. I love it. And I am addicted. I should add that. Alright. Oh, crap. Did it activate just from placing? Oh, bums. Oh, no. There's a ship coming. It's a level 10 ship! And there's penguins! Oh, the crap, they're level 10! Holy fa! Holy fa! What the way? Whoa! K! I am not ready for that. It destroyed the distress beacon as well, didn't it? I've got to get back down to the planet now, hope they're still there. Yeah, the distress beacon's gone! Oh no! Oh no! The distress beacon is now gone. I have lost it. I'm gonna to need to gather all those resources again! <laughs> Although I actually think I have enough right now. So that's actually not too bad a thing. Is it still going to be here? I, I bet it's gone. I bet it goes when you die, because otherwise you could just keep on wearing it away by dying over and over. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Well, let's get back to the ship and just see if I do have the resources for it. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, yeah, I've easily got the resources for it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try it one last time. One last time. This is a really exp... Oh, I've got the pixels as well. Good. All right, excellent. Got the distress beacon, and I'm going to do it a bit cheaply. I'm going to encase myself in dirt. And then I'm going to... In fact, I'll do it here. Because I know in the patch notes for the next patch, they said they're decreasing the difficulty of it to level 9. But they're also adding the ability for it to smash blocks when it crashes down like that. And if I do it now and get it out of the way, I won't have to face it like that until I'm far more powerful. And then I'll be okay. Alright. Clear this crap out. Encase myself in dirt. If I can go and encase myself in a lot of dirt. I know this is incredibly cheap, but I hope you don't mind, because otherwise it would take me ages to do it. And I want to get it done. <coughs> Alright. 
I'm actually, I'm actually going to dig a fair few things down because because it was firing things that was destroying that was damaging blocks and if it just does that it destroys blocks then it could very easily destroy this which would be a bad thing all right so let's get the distress beacon up there oh no I didn't mean to do that Yeah, it does it get destroyed when you... Alright, so... I'm gonna do it super cheap style. And shoot my bow at it until it dies. Because <laughs> this should work, I think. I think. It might take a while, but... Yes, yeah, they're gonna add the... Add, make it destroy blocks when it does that. Ah, I can actually do it when it gets close here. Nice. Whoa, there's a friggin' tank! A friggin' tank! Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, I don't need to jump anymore, excellent. This could do it, actually. This could do it. I don't know, let me hit it with a fire sword, see if it's susceptible to that. Ah, the is susceptible. Come on. Yeah, see, it doesn't seem to be doing much damage to the block, so that's good. I want to hit it with a fire burn. Oh, it's susceptible to burn. Or is it? No, it's not. It doesn't look like it. Oh, man, this is tough. I mean, this is probably... This is, this is cheating. This is abusing game mechanics. I'm aware of this, but... This is my own personal world, and I will play it however I see fit. And hopefully we'll kill this thing. You see, I'm only doing like 10, 11 damage to the thing. Which is not much. I've not even got it down one health bar yet. Uh, uh. Oh man. I could not do this legitimately. I really couldn't. I just wonder how powerful you're meant to be before you can do this legitimately. I'm just going to keep arrowing away at it, because that seems to be the best way to hit it. going to try to get a critical shot every time. Oh, it's down one health bar! Oh, hey, 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 hey! In fact, that's a good idea. I'm going to build a little cubby hole here. Holy crap, that hurt! That was nearly a one-hit kill, that. I better keep attacking in case it goes away if you, like, if you hide or something. Come on. Come on, you stupid alien. I'm going to destroy you. I am going to destroy you. Let me just heal one last time. Come on. Oh, it's down two bars. I can do this, I think. Yeah, I can definitely do this in here as long as it doesn't go away after a certain amount of time. That would suck. Because I've spent so many resources on it again. Again, I think I've got enough to do it a, a third time, but... I'd rather not. Yeah, come on. Come on. This will take a long time. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it all on video, but I might have to pause if it takes too long. Alright, come on. See, it's technically abusing game mechanics, but I don't feel bad about it because... Oh, it's damaged now. Oh, phew, I thought it had gone there. I was freaking out. Well, I wasn't freaking out. I was slightly concerned. Oh, it cloaks. Right. Oh, it fires far more frequently now. How the hell are you meant to fight this? 
how are you meant to actually fight this thing? It's just, I, I, I don't... I genuinely don't get how you're meant to fight this. Oh, thank you for this packed dirt being f more durable than regular dirt. Because I think if this was regular dirt, it would be destroying it. In fact, yeah, because you can see when it shoots the packed dirt on the top, it only damages two layers deep. But on the regular dirt down there, you can see it's doing about a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four hole. Which is no good. Now, th th see, this is a level 10 thing, so it's incredibly tough. There's not a chance I could handle this at my current state without doing this. Oh, jeez. Come on, just keep going. I'm glad I've got unlimited arrow, unlimited ammo for this bow. Because that would suck otherwise having limited arrows. Come on. In fact, I should get it in a position so I can fire from being right on the side of the wall. Like this. And then I can quickly hide if I need to. If I suspect he's going to shoot me. And then I can quickly run back out and get in position and fire again. Come on. Not much health left now, Sonny Jim. Not much health left now. I don't know what kind of accent that was. Uh, no, I think it is only doing one deep on the regular dirt as well, so that's okay. Now, I am going to have these penguins to deal with once I get out, but... As long as I've killed the ship, I don't... Holy crap, he's spawning a mini saucer! Oh, that could be bad, that... If that get... If that somehow shoots in that hole. Although its projectiles seem to be very slow. I'm glad about that. Come on. I'm getting peckish. Eat some bread. Oh! Oh, crying to pertain to tank. Oh! Oh, jeez. He's spawning a lot of the things now. This is getting dangerous. Please don't go away at night. I've almost got you. Holy crap, he spawned so many of the things. Please don't go away at night. Please don't go. You're almost dead. I genuinely thought he'd vanish once he, when he cloaked for the first time. <laughs> Now, I've got to re-aim now, but I had to place that torch. Alright, come on. Almost dead. Come on, I'm going to destroy you. Because I think once you beat this thing, you get access to the next tier of things. And I'm not sure exactly what that entails. That might be guns and things like that. And if I get access to guns, oh, come on, that's just beautiful. It's really beat up now. It's getting really beat up now. Oh, nearly. Nearly got me, Sonny Jim. Oh, yeah, destroyed one of the little ones. Oh, boy. Come on. I'm glad that these blocks aren't taking much damage. I see if he had the ability to destroy blocks right now by lowering himself into them. This technique would not work. At all. Oh, he's getting a bit shooty now. I'm really glad that he doesn't seem to run away. That's really good. Come on. I would have never had a chance against this traditionally, so to speak. <gasps> I got him! Yes! <gasps> and the molten core, that's what... That's what I need to make the metalworking bench thing. I'm going to kill that penguin guy, although I think he's going to kill me first. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have much of a chance against him. Although I will if he stands stuck there like that. Yeah, he's okay. He's not too much of a challenge. Oh, there's multiple... Holy... Jeez, beam back to my ship. <laughs> Can I access the beta sector now or something? Uh, zoom out. Zoom out. No, I don't have access to beta yet. I wonder how you get that. It's probably something you craft on the metalworking station thing. Which I'm going to make right now if I can. Because I think it's on the... Yeah, the metalwork station. One molten core, which I got. I'm just short of pixels, and I've got an iron anvil, so I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to make a separate iron anvil, to, just to, you know... So it's not all combined into one, and there's too many things there or something. Alright, let's get myself an iron anvil. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Alright, got the iron anvil that it wants. Where, there it is. And now I need a few more pixels. That's no big deal. I just need to kill some things. Come on. Not scared of you. I've killed a giant alien space crew. Is space crewed. Space ship or craft or whatever. And 313 pixels. That's enough. That's enough. And... A station used for producing and making use of various metals capable of producing steel. Yes. And now there are no more quests, I don't think. Oh. Yeah, I don't think there are any more quests now. For now, anyway. That's okay, that's okay. And there is my metalworking station. Fantastic. Now let's see what I can make with this thing. Star map upgrade. That'll be so I can access the beta sector. And that's actually really cheap. I just need more pixels for that. I could probably get that in about 10 minutes. Alright, is there any better stuff I can make? Silver stuff? No, that was there before. Okay, there doesn't seem to be much newer here. Um, that's kind of... Oh, okay, this is not much new here. Oh. I, I would have thought there would be loads of new things. Star map upgrade mark 2, though. That's what I need. You know what? Let's end this video with me getting that star map upgrade. So I'm going to head down into the caves. I'm, oh my crap, I'm almost dead. I'm going to take a bandage and go in my bed. Heal double quick. Oh, jeez. Come on, heal up. I want to get down on the caves. And... Not long now. The stars freak out sometimes. That's obviously a bug, but that's okay. Alright, back down into the caves. Now that I've technically cheated and beaten that boss... You know, I do feel kind of bad about that, but I will do it legitimately at some point. I will. I will. I just don't know when. I really don't know when, but I will do it on camera. I will do it legitimately on camera. And I'll do it with stuff that I can get now. No Holy! Whoa! Okay! Um, okay. They are lethal. That was a lot of things. Alright. Alright, come on. Fuck, did I get anything else from that fight? I got absolutely nothing else from that fight. That's kind of disappointing. Although I don't know what this star map upgrade will do for me, apart from letting me go other places. It, it might not even be as useful as I'm thinking, because even if I go to the other places, they're going to be way too tough for me. <laughs> they're going to be way too hard. And then I'm going to die instantly and be sad. Okay. Kill you, kill you. I know you're innocent little critters, but... In fact, my trick doesn't seem to be working anymore. There are no longer monsters spawning. So let's go down a bit. Yeah, I dug down quite a long way. I mean, a really long way. I mean, I got to some kind of almost temple-looking level. 
where the stones look like some kind of... They look like the temple brick out of a spelunky. No joke. Now, I don't want to go too far down or it'll take ages for me to get back up, but... Oh, I didn't think he was hostile. Alright, how many pixels did I need? I forgot. Yeah, that's what the brick looked like. It's weird. In fact, I'm about there now, in fact. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man, that hurt my legs and my bird bones. My bird bones. <laughs> All right, I should be able to go down now. Yeah, this is the area. It's a very weird stone here. It's it's just a regular stone. When you mine it, you just get cobblestone. And this is the area here. It's very temple-ish, isn't it, don't you think? It's just so... So strange. Oh, there was things hurt. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, yeah, there don't appear to be any monsters here. I'm gonna go back up. Back up. This could take a while. I might speed this up in the final video. And if I do speed it up, I'll be sounding like a chipmunk right now, so you might not be able to understand me. That's unfortunate, but it's something we've got. It's something that's got to happen. So screw it and I will do it. Maybe. But if I don't speed it up, you'll hear me talking about how I didn't or might be going to speed it up. Which isn't confusing at all, is it? Come on, little guy. Oh, ow. You hurt. Oh, man, I genuinely don't remember how many pixels it was I needed. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Come yeah, on. I like the sound of landing on this sand. It's very... It's very nice. It's a nice sound. Come on, I want the pixels. I want more pixels. Pixels, 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 pixels. I want pixels. I want pixels. Now here's this area again. I want to go around here, see if it's working again. Well, there is a monster there. That's actually one I don't recognize. Strange. Uh, but yeah, I want to get that upgrade before I do anything else. Mainly because it's really, really cheap. I think it might have been 300 pixels, in which case I don't have enough, but I think I might have more luck on the surface because honestly, Honestly, there's not many monsters in the caves today. Which is sad. So we have learned one thing, at least, and that's that a full set of iron armor is not adequate preparation for that boss. It is not adequate preparation at all because it will kill you in one hit. And its regular firing shots will kill you in almost one hit. Its body will kill you in exactly one. Now it is night outside, so that's good at least. There'll be monsters to kill. Oh! Whoa, 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 why didn't you die? Well, it is night time, I suppose. He should be a more difficult monster. Come on! But he should also give more pixels, I think. Is that a- Ooh, 55! Beautiful! In fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna check how much it costs. Because I don't want to get too many or too few and then have to go back out. Uh, where is it? It's on the metalworking station. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Star map upgrade. Iron bar and 450 pixels. Hey. Yeah, that's a bit more than I've got now. Nearly double, in fact. Gotta kill those with a sword because I want the pixels from them. Would have been easy with a bow, with them being flying things and all, but... That is okay, I got the pixels. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're rather easy, really, these things. Come on. Come on. And you're dead. I'm almost at 450 pixels already, bloomin' heck. And slash, come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
400 pixels, nearly there. And then I'm going to go to my ship and it might even fly to one of the alpha sector places just to... Well, beta sector, if this enables me to do that, and then see... <laughs> see what it's like. It's bound to be incredibly difficult, though. I just don't know how difficult. I imagine it might start at level 11, because the highest in this sector I could find has been level... Yeah. Has been level 10 that I've seen so far. And they're dead, and there's 424 pixels. Oh, not many more. 26 more, come on. Ah, oh, yeah, these are neat little things, and there's stuff in the chest that I've obviously taken, because it's a chest and I can take things. All right, there's a thing there. One more hit. And 450 pixels exactly. Let's get home before I die. And back down. Now let's make this thing. And hope that's all we need to make. Star map upgrade mark two. Pixels and five iron bars. I can use this engine I can use this to upgrade my ship's engine, allowing me, allowing flight into the beta sector. Yes. Nice. Now, how do I use it? I'm assuming I've got to go to the ship. I don't think they've got a tutorial. Or maybe it's just automatic. Can I go to the beta sector? I can't. Maybe I've got to use it. Star map updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation systems. Select the beta sector from the top of the navigator, navigator when in galaxy view to advance. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, here's the beta sector. Threat level 16, 19. Oh. I've got enough fuel to go there as well. Oh. What's this? Threat level 20! 12? 20? 19? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, yeah, threat level 18! Threat level 20? 11? 11? Uh, I just want to make sure I've got, I'm going to have enough fuel to get back home. Uh. I'm going to get some coal from my base, just in case. Because I don't want to get stranded there. I'll probably have enough to get back home if I bring some of my, Maybe half of my coal. Yeah, that should be plenty. Oh boy, this is going to be really, 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 really dangerous and scary. This is going to be seriously bad. Alright, beta sector. Let's find a random one. Pick that. Check for... I want to try threat level 20, just because. Because I've got zero pixels, I've literally got nothing to lose. Now maybe we can find a different biome type that I've never seen before. Your snow planets are bad as well, because you freeze to death really quickly on them. That doesn't look very arid. I uh, want something new, preferably. Find random. What's this? Threat level 11. Uh, 11 and 13. I want a threat level 20. With a tempting biome, with an interesting one. I'm not finding any... Oh, threat level 19, that's close. Find random, go on, click find random a few more times. Oh man, this is so amazing. Uh, nope. Not there. Not oh, threat level 20 forest. Done. Oh man, I'm really I am really going to regret this. I can't even handle threat level 10 yet. And here I am going to a threat level 20 planet. This is gonna be an extra long video. I'm nearly 40 minutes in so far, but. You know what? It's a special video. It's a one-off, for now at least, and... Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be pretty...
pretty bad. Oh boy. Now how much fuel do I have left? 100 fuel left. I should be able to fuel that back up pretty nicely. Oh boy, we're here. We're here. Now I'm hoping there's going to be some seriously nice ores on this planet so I could maybe mine on it. You know, I could maybe mine on the thing. Oh boy. It looks slightly similar to my current planet. I'm going to shove this stuff in my fuel thingy right off the bat. Alright, there's 316 fuel right there, 416 in total. And all my coal, 556. That might be enough, I really hope that's enough. Uh, I'm going to die here, I'm going to die. In fact, I'm going to die in one hit from anything here, just you watch. Just you watch. I'm going to get as many things as I can though. Oh, wow! Toxic top seed. This doesn't look like it gives wood. That had better give wood in case I need emergency fuel. Please give wood. <gasps> Plant f four! Whoa! Oh my! Oh, that's absolutely amazing! Oh, go. Dicks. Oh, many dicks. Oh, many dicks. Yeah, that thing is level 21. Have you seen the damage it's taking? It's taking very little damage. Now, if I can just keep it away from here, I could kill it. Oh, come on, let's go at it with a sword. Three damage. Are you serious? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, yeah, I do not want. Do not want that. They're gonna kill me in one hit. They're gonna kill me in one hit. I'm not even knocking them back. Now, they seem to be fairly. Oh! Yeah, that was one hit. That was one hit. This planet is way too tough, but it's got so many plant fibers. So many plant fibers, that's incredible. The plant fiber trees. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, anyway, let's go home if we can. Oh, nearly, I thought I'd press set home there. I would have never found that place again. Oh, phew. I have got enough to go home. Oh, man. That planet is mean. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here for now because I'm done and I need to go to bed. Even though I don't want to. I really don't want to, but I need to. Because I need to be up early and it's quarter past one in the morning. So thank you very much for watching. Me feel horribly, that is. And goodbye for now. I will see you in the next one.